The level of your confidence is a big determining factor as to whether you succeed or fail in the venture that you're pursuing. Let me show you how you can create more confidence in what you do in your life, in your business, so you make a lot more money. My name is Mac and I help business owners to scale their business to seven figures so that they have more money, more time, and a lot more freedom. So let's talk about that. I'm gonna give you five things that you can start doing right now to be more confident. Now, one of those things is belief. Believe in yourself. Believe in your product or your service that you're providing. Do you care enough about your client that you have everything in place for them? Do you believe that the fact that thing you have is of high value to them? If it is, believe in that. And guess what? They'll feel that, they'll feel your energy, and they want to work with you. That's number one. Number two, have absolute clarity what your outcome is. Whatever you're working on, what is the outcome? What is it you want at the end of the day? And once you are clear, then do not be, don't be distracted by other things or other people. And if you have absolute clarity where you're going, it's hard for anybody to put you off. So you're gonna maintain your confidence as you strive for that. Number three, if someone has a structure or a system or a vehicle that is working, that you can just jump onto and ride with that, then do that. Because whenever there's a structure or a framework or a template that you can follow, it makes life much, much easier. And above all, you have a lot more certainty. And when you have certainty, you feel more confidence, unstoppable. That's number three. Number four, start to take more risks. And when I say risks, I'm not talking about jumping off a cliff. I'm talking about calculated risks. So remember a time when you took some risks and you moved forward. That's the kind of risk I'm talking about because some people in your circles will not take certain risks. They might think you're a risk taker because you started your business and they will never quit their job. But guess what? You took that risk and you made that happen. The first time you went and spoke to a client and they said yes, you took that risk and made that happen. So take more calculated risks and think about this. The more calculated risks that you have taken, has it been more rewarding for you or more punishing for you? I'm sure you said more rewarding for you. So if you took more risks, you can develop your confidence even more from there. Number five, above all, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Step into the room, feel confident. Be sure of what you're talking about because you've practiced enough that it just slips off the tongue, that you know what you're doing, that people are gonna buy you because they buy you because of your energy, because you've practiced enough. So whether it's a sales, pitch that you're training, whether it's a presentation that you're going to do, whether it's a demonstration, whether you're going to meet the client for the first time, maybe role play and practice what you're going to say so that when you're in front of them, you just sound confident and you know what you're talking about. Now, if you want to get better and you want to be more confident and you want systems to help you to be more certain, then I'm going to ask you to come and join me in my private Facebook group and I will help you to have that. So click the link below and I'll see you inside.